Welcome to the podcast, Leading and Growing Your Real Estate Business by Coach James Short. This podcast is designed to help you with strategies, insights, and ways to increase sales, build and lead high-performing teams, and ultimately grow your business. Your host, James Short himself, also shares some of his secret sources on how he helps his own clients achieve business growth quickly and easily. James has been coaching those in the real estate and property industry for close to 10 years now, and his clients keep on saying, since working with James, their results have been outstanding, giving them more money, time, and fulfillment. James is offering a free strategy call to those listening to see how he can assist you to take your business to where you want to go. Simply go to jamesshort.com.au forward slash strategy and book in a time today. Now on with the show. Hi and welcome to another edition of Leading and Growing Your Real Estate Business. Coach James Short here for another episode. And you know, sometimes out there when you're, when you're talking to people and you want to go far out, we need to get that person back. Wow, that, that just, uh, we could be talking hours and hours and hours and hours. Well, you know what? We have this person here today with us. A dear friend, mentor of mine, a guru, and just mind blown a combination of the mentalist meet Dr. Phil. This gentleman has worked with the likes of the Australian government, Rain and Horn, Bell Property, PRD, Yellow Brick Road, LJ Hooker, Disney, the Australian Federal Police, you name it, he's worked with any organization that's really serious about making change and having impact in people's lives. It's the gentleman that we all love and endure and just have a massive respect for this gentleman. His name is Alan Stevens. Now, I've known Alan now for a number of years, and uh, he's certainly changed my world. He, uh, many years ago when he did a, his first profile of my two little, two little munchkins back then, has changed the way forever on how we communicate and how we talk to both our, our two little kids from there, he's helped me in business and making business decisions and really helping to understand me to connect with clients and prospects and really nurture them and take them on, on the journey where in the past I wouldn't have been able to. AlanStevens.com.au is a wealth of information and, and a go-to place when you really want to understand your communication, how to increase that communication by through of profiling faces, to understand body language, to understand what the face is really telling you. So, Oh, let's get him on the line. Let's get him on the line. Alan, really appreciate it. Thank you for your time, mate. Well, thank you. And by the way, can I hire you to do all my PR from here on? <laughs> <laughs> I was getting so impressed. I thought, who is this guy he's talking Where's about? Where's he coming from? <laughs> <laughs> but, mate, you have. And, and you know, to, just to be really open and honest, and, you know, we've known him for a couple of a number of years now, and mm. and you've made a massive impact to, to all our, our family lives. And, and once again, I just really appreciate and, and to the bottom of my heart, thank you because it has made a massive difference. And, and reading all your testimonials, oh my gosh, there's a million and one of them on, on the impact of lives that you had. And today I want to really bear all and, and, and just to unpack the suitcase around what you do and the impact that you're making in, business, in businesses and, and business owners' lives um, because this is an interesting time in business. You know, there are, there are businesses out there that are really struggling and and we've had conversations, you know, we talk every week, we've had conversations where business owners going, I need help, I need help, I need help. Well, here's a solution. And then it's like crickets. It's like, <laughs> it's right in bloody front of you. Get amongst it, get into it. So I just want to, I guess the first question, just to bring some more context is around that story in your journey. I know we've had interviews before, mm. but, but what's been that turning point and, and what has been that, you know, if you could summarize that journey, so far, your journey to get you to where you are right now? Well, one of the things I've, all the way along, I've been, hadn't been good at relationships myself and all the breakdowns and relationship breakups and business not going well. I looked for the common thing that was bet uh, underneath all of it. And it had to come down to not the systems or anything else, but the people themselves. Yeah. Uh, in 2016, what they say, 66% of people were disengaged in their work. Wow. Well, that was a Gallup research from worldwide uh, results. And in 2018, it's now 87%. So 
We went no. through 2019. Where is it now in 2020? Wow. That's people crazy. are unhappy and it always comes back to relationships, understanding ourselves. As they say, the fastest growing industry on the planet is technology. We're more connected by devices than we've ever been connected before. But relationship wise, we are more disconnected from ourselves and each other. That's why the second fastest growing industry on the planet is coaching. Yeah. Trying yep. to overcome those problems. But again, we're not getting down into the causes. What's at the base of all of this? And mm. And being able to read somebody, know you where you fit on the scale, know where they fit on the scale, and then change the way you like to be spoken to to match theirs. Straight away, you've broken through all barriers and you've got instant report. So why do you think... <laughs> I know where we could take this. <laughs> why do you think people put their hand up and they, they want help, they're asking for help, but then when the help is there on the platter, that they don't take, take it up. What, what do you think that is? Well, a lot of it comes down to what we've just been talking about. When we come to technology, yeah, everybody goes, okay, somebody can do that for me. I'll put a right. system in or whatever it might be. But because we're so disengaged from ourselves and you know, domestic, we're separated domestically, we're separated from our kids and everything else, that... EQ, you know, we've been into IQ being the intelligence side of things. Then we have the, uh, we've got the EQ, which is the emotional intelligence. We're not taught that anywhere. Yeah. And so the end result is we don't understand it. And if somebody comes along and says, okay, now let's look at that. And people go, oh my God, this is like talking to aliens. It's foreign. Where do, you know, I don't understand it. So something I don't understand because there's so much pressure and everything else, I'll run away from it. Mm. And that's what see, people seem to be doing. Whereas if they just step into it, all of a sudden I'll start to understand it and their whole uh, business, their relationship to their partners, everything there takes a massive drive forward. It's like that tipping point, isn't it? It's just like, mm. it's, it's, it's the, ah, oh, it's the Indiana Jones step of when he steps out into that unknown platform where it's invisible and he just trusts that it's going to be okay. And that once that first step happens, then it spreads the rest of the dirt and there's, there's the rest of the bridge. And that's the way it goes. And, and so if you look at that, because like, you, you've been having some huge success with, with some of your clients, what have been, if you look over the last, say, six to 12 months working with some of those clients, what are you noticing? What's the impact that you're making with, with these people? And, and how, are you, how are you doing it? What, what is it? Well, what I'm finding is the, well, the smile on their faces is usually quite huge. Uh, they're getting results. They then start to turn around and go, I didn't know it was going to be so simple. Mm. And I go, well, building relationships. I said, do you find it difficult talking to somebody, like opening your mouth and letting the words out? They go, no. Their biggest fear is putting them out the right way. <laughs> so I say, right, well, if you can read the person and know how they want to hear it, are you going, is that going to hold you back? And they go, oh, if I know that, I already know how to talk. I'm just talking the way they want to be spoken to and no more problems. Yeah. And so generally I find when I'm talking to people, they're worried about what's it's going to cost. You know, recently had a gentleman who did my master training, but one of the first things we did, he had a deal with um, a couple of uh, gentlemen that wasn't going anywhere. It's falling off the table. It was worth close to $2 million. Wow. They, they wouldn't go one point above 1.6. I told him how to change the way he was talking to it because he was, they were, one guy was talking about the money, but he wasn't about the money. But because he answered the questions all the way on the money, they were getting nowhere. Talked to him about service, the first of a number of um, projects they wanted to run, and this had to be the flagship. Right. So talk how this one was going to really carry everything through. His business partner was about the money, but also wanted to do things quickly. So talking about getting this one done fast get the clients in, have the money then to move on to the next one and get the whole lot of the projects finished faster. Wow. He added $150,000 to the deal and signed them off on it. <sighs> so when people hear that and you go, okay, even if his profit was only 10%, for instance, that's $200,000. And I don't charge anywhere near that for one of my clients. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's a massive return on investment right there. That's it. It's like how many thousand percent is it? Yeah, uh, wow. And so, well, tens of thousands of percent. So it's, but sometimes people are, oh, I can't believe you could make such a return. 
Mm. And I go, well, think about sometimes when you've spoken to somebody, you've just changed that moment you've spoken to them and the response with them completely changes. How big was that shift? And they go, oh yeah, that was a huge one. I go, well, relate that to your business. Yep, so true. And that's the impact, like the impact, totally get it in, in the sales arena. Like it's just this stuff is just gold in, the, in that whole arena. And then it's looking at then managing effectively your team and, and, and going through that. And as you said, it's the, it's the impact that we have of people around us mm. that can be absolutely huge and, and life-changing by understanding what's, what's important to them. That's it. See, I was Love gobsmacked it. the other um, last year. I'd put a post up of picture of Richard Branson, the statement that uh, take care of your employees and they'll take care of your business. Yep. And if that's simple, Richard Branson. And all I put up next to it was, if that's the case, then why is it that 87% of people are disengaged in their work? The shock that hit me was the number was of huge. responses. <laughs> and so I put another one up with Richard, but leading into the same statement was, customers don't come first, employees come first. Well, that was like, and I put next to it, yes, it can be that simple. And this is why. And it was like it opened the birdcage up and thrown the cat in. <laughs> it's flying left, right and centre. I put a video up to explain what take care of your employees really means. Well, between the three of those posts, over 100,000 interactions on likes, comments, shares and views. Wow. But I watched bosses, having a, a business owners have a go at each other because usually it was all the staff having a go at their bosses saying, hey, we get it, why don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, but I had one boss saying, you've got to have customers before you have um, staff. Another one saying, you've got to have staff before you have customers. And they're at each other. And I sat back and watched it for a while. And I'd already worked it out. The guy who's saying you have to have customers is a restaurateur. Right. Said, well, you've got to have clients first, or, you know, staff first, was yeah. a restaurateur. The other one who was saying, no, you've got to have customers first, was a locksmith. So he started out as a one-man band. But as I pointed out to him, he more than anybody else should have known that customers come first because if he was in a bad mood, he found out firsthand from his customers what they thought of it. Yep, yep, yep. So if you want to put your customers first, put your staff first and therefore your customers come first. Love it. It's an interesting thing. but It's, it's a a very apparent, interesting, isn't it? Oh, a this mind stuff. twist, but when you stop and think about it, it does. Yeah, it's so, so true. And if that's one of the biggest problems, if we get businesses starting to think that way, because if your staff are disengaged, we know that if staff are bullied, performance drops 70% for that individual. But everybody else who observes it, it drops another 40%. Wow. But across the board, in businesses like that, in large businesses, about 29 to 30% of their prof profits are going out the door. Yeah. So if you've got fixed costs in some organisations, that can be 50% of your profits are gone. Huge. Huge. So to not look at building relationships with your, your staff, with your customers, with your suppliers, is just emptying money out of your bank account. Yeah. Throwing money away. Yeah, so true, so true. So you've been, you've been a busy man. You've been, you know... Touring, speaking, presenting, doing coaching sessions, writing stuff. And you, you put together a whole new type of program where it's, where it's the ability to, on so many different levels, I'll let you explain it. But what I like about this, this new program, it, it offers an assistant, the men are where you're at and really unpacks things for business owners and leading salespeople to really go, you know what, this is what I need and this is going to be the biggest impact. So can you just share with, with us what's, what have you been working on? Yeah. Well, I realise when you talk to people and you ask them, well, in moving forward, what do you want to do? Do you want to do it yourself? Do you want someone else to do it for you? Or do you want someone to hold your hand and yeah, do it together it. with them? And I thought, right, why don't I put a three-step program together that covers all of those? Great. So my, Love it. Online, my initial online course called Business Essentials Fast Start helps people to build instant rapport. So that's where they do it themselves. Yep. They do that course, they go through it, they learn those traits. But where they get it done for them, I profile them. So uh, I profile them for them so that they know how people see them. Right. They confirm where they fit on the scale. Got and it. And then where we do it together to make sure they're getting a return on investment is Who's a client that you really want to work with now? Who's got a value to your organization? You know, a good ticket item. And I go, right, 
let's profile them and let's see how you'll go through what your profile and how you need to change the way you speak to them. Yep. And I've uh, put the first client through it the other day and her response back, we went through the person she was going to uh, go and see, profiled him. And I said, well, look, you know, his traits are saying very concise and everything else. You got the meeting set for an hour, but you need to make sure that you keep it concise and everything else. So you'll probably finish before then. But she did such a great job in building rapport with him. It went for an hour and a quarter. Not only <laughs> did he sign up, but he's also referred several other people to her. Wow. How so good's that? That's all in the one meeting. So Just all in that one session, you're just looking at then understanding herself, understanding the client, and boom, look what's transformed. That's it. And as you know, yeah, you know, that's the way you run your business. You build relationships with people, and that's why you've got clients who keep coming back to you. And they've been there for years. They've almost got dust on them. They've been there that long. <laughs> so not that they're staying still for very long. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah, right. you won't let them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because you're very focused on your customers and your, you know, the people around you, the, the, the people you're training. So that if we do that, we focus on our clients. They'll always then drive themselves forward and they get a greater return. Yep. So relationships are at the base of everything. As they say, what do I bring to the table? And I used to struggle with an answer for that until I finally turned around and went, I just bring the damn table. <laughs> because you come and put all your stuff on that. If you look at relationships, they are the foundation of everything we do. So true. If you oh. put a slab of concrete on the ground and then build a, a structure on top of it, yes, it will stay there for a little bit. But as soon as the slab moves, it starts to crumble. So yep. you've got to have strong foundations. And one of the most expensive parts of a house in a lot of terrains is the foundations, the footings that go into the ground. Yeah. So if you put those deep, then the slab won't move and the building will stay in place. So people say, oh, but I've got a lot of clients. I go, okay, this is when you should be working on it to make sure you keep those clients. And I've got other people going, oh, I'm losing clients. They go, well, this is the time you should be working on it yep. to make sure that you keep those clients to come back to you. Yeah. So, and also then how to use that to go and get new clients. Got it. Love it. So it's, when do you start anything? As they say, if you want to um, grow a tree, plant it 10 years ago. But next best time is right now. Right today. now. Right now. So, so true. Every day you delay in building relationships, you're virtually throwing money away. Yep. Yep. And what I like about that and, and what I like about what you, how you've set up this new program is because the relationships is, and I'll say it as, personally multi-pronged it's firstly that relationship with self mm. and by doing a profile on yourself you get to understand that relationship the best that's it right what actually is that my mo what is my communication pathways what is what's important to me and when you can understand that foundation and and those legs of the table so to speak then you can go cool what's then the relationship with others going to look like and and how do i connect and and communicate and, and build that relationship with the rest of the table. And that's what I love about this program. You've got it in steps when you can really take people on that journey and you go, right, let's unpack you first, then we can unpack them, and then you bridge it all together. Mm. And, and I know because I've walked it and gone, my mind's blown many times from doing it, but the impact has been phenomenal. It's absolutely been phenomenal. So go on. Yeah, and that's what you need to do. You know, you do it in the sections, you bring it together and you fully understand it. But as I always say to people, they go, oh, but I'm good at putting presentations together. And I say, okay, when you put it together, how did it sound? Oh, it sounded brilliant. I practiced it and got it right. And I went, then you went through the door and you spoke to the person. How did it go? Oh, I didn't get them. I go, right, so you put it together for them. But when you understand the other person, you know how to put the presentation for, you know, together for them. Yes. And the good thing about being able to read someone and understand how their facial features develop over time with the way they think, therefore the history of their personality, all you need is their photograph. And so then you can put your whole presentation together based on them before you go through the door. But you also know your own personality, so you know why, why your buttons get pushed when certain things go certain ways. Yeah. They got the best of both worlds by doing it all. Love it, love it. So, so where can we send them? Where can, where can our audience and listeners go to to find out more and, and have further chats and investigate more about what you've got? Well, if they want to find out about that particular course itself, if they go to my website, which is alanstevens.com.au, A-L-A-N-S-T-E-V-E-N-S.com.au, yep. forward slash and the number three, 
and the word step. Okay. So three step. That will take them to a landing page, which then when they click on that, that will take them through to the course page. There's similar information on the course page, but a lot more extra information. And they'll see people who, what people have got out of doing the course as well. Because at the end of the day, as I say, I can might sit here and talk and sound fantastic, but the proof in the pudding is finding out what people like me, what did they get out of it when they went and worked with Alan? Yeah, so Find true. that out first and go, okay, test the waters on this. Return on investments have been huge. And what's the cost on this? So check all that out. And if they want to have a chat with me, my website's got a contact form and they can contact me there. Fantastic. Well, we'll put all those details in the footnotes. So, uh, so go guys, go and check it out. AlanStevens.com.au forward slash three steps and, uh, and, and check all the details out. Alan, mate, always love it. Always love jumping on the, the call and, and having a chat. As I said, we could be talking for hours and hours and hours on so many different topics. We've done that. <laughs> really, we have. I really appreciate your time and energy and always your expertise. You're always here to give and serve. So, mate, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much.